Hey folks, it's GV Loan Guy. I wanted to tackle this problem of the 188 days again. Uh, Today is April 11th, 2012, and we had a major 8.7 megaquake uh, off the coast of Thailand, Sumatra, today. Now to me, uh, if any of you have followed any of my previous videos, we talked about this period of time. In my mind, the period of time that we're talking about is in the middle of February to the middle of April. Some people include all of February, March, and April, but either way, I just tightened up the window a little bit on my, uh, if you recall, this little video here. I just tightened up the window a little bit um, to include, you know, the last half of February, all of March, and the first half of April. And that's in my mind when we should be looking for something that would fall within these two categories here, right around here. So when this happened today, you know, uh, on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd of March, there was a number of 7.56 right in there, uh, 7.2, whatever. There were a lot of folks that were wanted to consider that the... Uh, there it is, you know, it was like, there they are, the big, that's it, that qualifies. But in my mind, that did not qualify, because it was, you know, sevens are uh, much, as much as, I mean, they're big quakes, but they're much too common. And that's been pointed out by a lot of people in some of the uh, comments on uh, some of my previous videos. Anyway, I'd like to come over here to do a little research on this with me um, at the USGS site and uh, I'll post the link for this. This is where they keep the archives. And if you just bring this page up and post a date, I just chose 2000 because it's, you know, easy. And uh, I put today's date for uh, 11, today's date. So starting 2000, ending 2012, magnitude 7 or above. Here's what we get. All right, there's the list. Let me scroll down. You can see there's just a lot a lot. Here's the date over here, the full date, and then the magnitude over here, sevens, eights in there. So there's a there's a lot, and they are pretty much it's, it's overwhelming. So I don't uh, I don't that's too broad for me. I like to tighten it up a little bit, like I did with the dates. So I pull this over here to eight, make this eight. Anything eight point or above, I'm going to consider that pretty major. That search brings up this. Okay, now that is much, much more manageable. See, one half a page. So uh, I'm not going to go through all of these because the significant dates start on uh, 2007, April 1st. On from that date when they had a 8.1 earthquake. From that point on up until and including today every megaquake that was 8.0 or above fell directly in between the dates of February, March, and April or August, September, October. Everyone. So here's the uh, the list. Starts in 2007, April 1st, 8.1. Here's 2007, August 15th, 8.0. 2007, September 12th, 8.5. 2009, September 29th, 8.1. 2010, February 27th, 8.8. 2011, March uh, 11th, 9.0. And the latest one, which is not on here, would be 2012, 4, 11, 8.7. Okay? You see what I'm saying? There's a little bit of a pattern here. Now, before that, you got them in November, June, September, December, December, March, May, November, January. All right, they're kind of all over the place. But starting 
on April of 07, from then on, every single one has fallen within these dates. So, all I'm saying in this, all I'm saying is, maybe there's something to this theory of the, you know, whatever it is, heavy mass object, um, maybe it's the solar, we're approaching solar maximum in 2013, maybe that's what it is. But, and I guess we are closest to the sun during this period of time, I'm not really sure about that. But all I know is there's a trend, we're not really sure why, but there were lots of people, myself included, who were expecting something to happen in this period of time, and here it is. I'm giving it to this one right here. I didn't go for any of the ones on March, but this one here is close enough to a 9.0. In fact, this morning they were calling it an 8.9. To me, this nails it. So now we've got another one in the uh, trend. That makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in a row. Every 8.0 earthquake and above has fallen within those months that you see right here and we talk about on this video. All right, that's it. I just wanted to bring that up. Today seemed like a good day to review it and uh, narrow down the field. So for those of you that argue that there are major earthquakes all throughout the year, you're right, there are. But when you narrow it down to the 8.0s and above, that changes everything. So take a look. I'll post the link below.